Ron St. Pierre really knows how to pick him. His prediction <laughs> right on the money. Oh, yeah. Put seven <laughs> seconds to go right on the money. Thank you, Janice. Evening, everybody. Mark this one down as one of the all-time best from start to finish. A real burner. Indiana comes away with the national championship by scoring a last-second 74-73 win over the Syracuse Orangemen in New Orleans. Great game. Syracuse dominated the boards. Freshman Derek Coleman, 19 boards in the night. Look at Ronnie Cycle. strong second effort there, and he gets the basket. Orangemen were just flying high. Greg Monroe winds up on the tail of the break three-point play right there. And Syracuse controlled the tempo in the early going. Sherman Douglas just inside the three-point line, two of his 20. But guess who kept Indiana in this one? Steve Alford from three-point land. Seven three-pointers tonight. Alford will go again for three. He had 23 points. And just before halftime, watch him use the screen. And he'll pop another three-pointer, 33-32 Indiana at the half. In the second half, Syracuse would come out and run up an eight-point lead, just eating them up inside. Nice, strong move there. Take a peek at this move by Sherman Douglas on a two-on-one. A great fake and a layup. Another look shows you just how great this fake was. He pretends he goes behind the back. Just a beautiful move. Syracuse leads down to one now with half a minute to go. Freshman Derek Coleman will miss the front end. And Indiana gets the ball back and a chance to win this thing. With everybody looking for Alfred, it's Keith Smart who gets the call. He drills it. There it is from the corner. Syracuse does not call timeout. Clock ticks down to a second. Doesn't give you a whole lot of time. Orangeman can't even get the ball in. Indiana goes on to win at 74-73. And they are the national champions. Give you an idea how close this game really was. Indiana never led by more than four points in the basketball game. And joining us live from New Orleans is Channel 12's Rick O'Brien. Rick, don't want to say told you so, buddy, but told you so. I, I'm sorry, Ron, I didn't hear your last comment. You, you just mentioned that uh, Indiana never led by more than four, but Syracuse sure did, and the Orangemen did not come away with a victory, as you mentioned. And I think you also mentioned that it was a great ending to the college basketball season, a top-notch game, and maybe your team didn't win, but only one team can. And we were pretty pleased uh, and privileged to see that game in person here tonight. After the contest, some post-game interviews with the coaches, the winner and the loser. See if you can tell which is which. And I'm still not sure we're really good basketball team. Uh, uh, I, uh, I look at us, and, and, and uh, Syracuse did some really good things against us today. And uh, uh, when we got a little, when we got a, a piece of the Big Ten championship, and uh, I thought we might be able to do some things in the tournament. I honestly didn't think we could win the tournament. I didn't necessarily think that we had no chance at all either. Uh, I thought our kids did everything we asked them to do the whole ball game, and uh, it came down to somebody had to make a play at the end, and uh, Indiana made a great play at the end of the ball game, and that, that's why they won it. They deserve it. We weren't as sharp uh, as we were Saturday. Syracuse did an excellent job changing defenses and had us standing around a little bit and guessing a little bit more than we should and not really getting the ball where we wanted to go th throughout most of the ball game. I thought they did a hell of a job defensively. This is a little bit worse probably because there's a little bit more importance involved in this game than any other game. But, uh, no, it doesn't feel good. I'm happy as hell that we won. I'm happy because uh, I think we have great fans and great people and they enjoy it and it, it's great for them. Uh, uh, Hell, if we'd have lost, I'd have gone fishing tomorrow. If we win, I'd go fishing later tomorrow. If you're a college basketball fan, you have to be happy with the way the season went, with the way it ended tonight. A fantastic game. One-pointer, you did have a hero in Keith Smart of Indiana, and a, a noble effort by the losers, the Syracuse Orangemen. Now, if you're a local college basketball fan, the whole thing looks good. Tom Penders of URI, the District 1 Division 1 Coach of the Year, and Rick Patino of Providence College, of course, the National Coach of the Year. So that's going to do it here from New Orleans. And, Ron, for the final time, I'll say, from the Channel 12 satellite truck, live via satellite, Rick O'Brien, <laughs> Channel 12 Sports. Come on home. we got some great weather waiting for you. I can't wait. <laughs> okay. AWOL, Red Sox.